hey lovies welcome back to another delicious recipe so guys on today's recipe i'm going to be showing you how i make my delicious one pot no bake cheesy pasta okay so guys let's get started with this recipe so guys these are all the ingredients i'm going to be using for this recipe i have some penne rigate pasta some chopped tomato tomato paste onion scotch bonnet pepper minced beef mozzarella cheese my spices and herbs and vegetable oil so i'm going to be dropping all the list of these ingredients and the spices on the description box so you can assess them easily okay so i will start by adding in two tablespoons of vegetable oil into my hot pot and i'm going to be adding in my dashed onion I'm going to add in my garlic powder so at this moment I'll add in my minced beef I'll give it a nice stir and cook it till it changes its color So in about three minutes my minced beef have changed its color so this moment i'm going to be adding in all my spices to spice up this minced beef So at this moment, I'm going to be adding in one tablespoon of tomato paste. This is going to give it that nice red color. So after adding my tomato paste, I allowed it to cook for about three minutes and I'm going to be adding my chicken stock. And at this moment, I'm going to be adding my chopped tomato, which I'm using one can. So after adding in my chopped tomato, I'm going to allow it to cook for about five minutes. So at this moment, my sauce is well cooked. I'm just going to be adding in enough hot water that I'm going to be using to cook my pasta. So guys, before adding in your pasta, at this moment, you need to check if the taste of your sauce is good. And if not, you're free to add in more sauce and more spice that you like in your food, okay? So I'm going to be adding in my pasta. I will give it a nice stir and I will cover it up with enough water to cook on a medium heat. So guys, few minutes later, my pasta is well cooked. I'm just going to give it a nice stir and I'm going to drizzle in some mozzarella cheese. Stir it up together so it will mix with all my pasta. And after giving it a nice stir, I'm going to cover it up to cook more for just two minutes so it, the cheese will melt in all the pasta. 
at this moment if you want to bake it you can transfer it into your oven and bake it for just 10 minutes So guys, that's my pasta ready. I'm just going to serve it with more cheese on top as my kids love it. Cheesy, cheesy, cheesy and more cheese. Yes guys, go ahead and sprinkle in all the amount of cheese that you love. You're free to add in more cheese, more cheese, and more cheese, and more cheese. Yes, guys, thank you very much for watching this delicious recipe. I hope you find it helpful. I hope you do make some cheesy, cheesy, cheesy pasta in your house. Yeah, thank you very much, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, till I see you on my next recipe. Bye-bye.